and are the frames back no yes maybe we good now okay perfect so uh welcome to interchange which is uh, i don't think debatably i think it probably is the most dangerous supermarket in the world and we seem to have spawned in the grocery store region okay i can deal with this um Honestly, I don't really know what's going on because I've played maybe one run of interchange and that was in offline mode. So I decided to hop in on a scav run and see what the hell's going on. We still got 33 minutes left, so a lot of this stuff is not going to be looted. I can't actually open any of those cash registers. Unfortunately, I don't have the key. I don't even have the key on my PMC anyway. No key tool, no... uh storage for keys i don't even remember what the, the actual big storage is called but either way we're here to make the most of it we got a can of tashanka tashunk i don't know how to pronounce it actually what do we even get we got oh okay the uh, honestly i've never i think health resort is that on reserve i think it's on reserve i'm not sure either way i'm just gonna kind of wander around here a bit see if we can pick up any more cans of food See what the hell else is good, and then we will go check out the other parts of Interchange, I guess. Okay, so I know there's supposed to be computer rooms around here somewhere. Um, I don't remember exactly where they're supposed to be, but they are around here somewhere. Um, so I gotta find those, because that's really where the, uh, the actually good stuff is going to be. Get some, like, uh, flash drives and stuff, perhaps. That would be, uh, would be very nice. I'm not going down there. That looks like bad news. Strange red light causes lag, apparently. Okay, don't go near that. Correcting a mistake made earlier in the video. Health Resort is on Shoreline, not Reserve. Not that anybody really asked in the first place. Why do my frames keep dropping? It's probably because I'm recording, isn't it? Alright. Tawa. Whatever the hell this place is called. Oh, wait. I think we're just back in the original area. I don't actually think we managed to go anywhere. Alright. Um, we'll sprint off in this direction, making as much noise as humanly possible. Because I don't really smell loot. But I smell a change of location, and you know what? That's honestly good enough for me. So we could go downstairs. That looks to be a... I don't even know what the hell that is. The frame drop certainly didn't help. I think I got killed by a play. Oh, I definitely got killed by a player because I was on a scav run. Yeah, yikes. Yikes, indeed. However, that was only, like, the second run on Interchange of the day, and actually the second run on Interchange in my entire Tarkov career, I guess. But, you know what? Things are about to get a hell of a lot better on a PMC run that, honestly, I didn't even think I was going to initially do. I thought I was just going to record a couple scav runs. But um, I went in for a PMC run and things got, let's just say, pretty damn good. You know, I thought about it for a second and uh, I decided let's, uh, let's go in on a PMC run. Not for any real logical reason, but just because I felt like it was the right thing to do. Um, either way, we've got the, uh, the front of Interchange right here. I think this is like idea or whatever you know off-brand ikea i'm assuming they use different names because they couldn't get the rights to the actual ones and i'm assuming having products like coca-cola and whatever in your game probably pretty expensive also i don't yeah i don't think you can go in here you know what it was a nice thought but unfortunately it's uh, it's not gonna work all right let's see here and it just occurred to me that I brought a friggin' customs key with me. The, you know what? That's wonderful. And I can't even take that out because I, I only hit. Am I stupid? Can I? Oh. I mean, the correct answer is yes, I am stupid, but not for the reason I initially thought. Why do you have to close it? Unless somebody already got to it. Nope, nobody got to it. Crackers and... Ooh, syringe. Okay, I actually... I need that syringe to craft the med station. So that is... Uh, that's perfect. 
we'll be able to get that, and then uh, we'll be able to finish that therapist quest finally. All right. I touched the barbed wire. I didn't want to do that, but I, it happened. Okay. So I know around the, the or on the sets anyway, around here, they've got like a bunch of lions and like cat statues and crap like that. I don't, God, where are those things supposed to be? Maybe back here. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. But let's be honest here. I wasn't actually after those statues. That was just going to be a quick bit of money. I was really after any medical supplies and anything of that sort that I could find and use for the therapist quest. The introductory one, that is. Oh. Oh, I hear. Hello. Uh. I feel like I should kill this guy, but... Frame drop. Yikes. Did I get him or did I not get him? I didn't get him. I definitely got somebody. Alright, there we go. Um, I don't... Why didn't... Oh, God. This map really sucks for frame drops. And I don't know why my frames drop so bad in Tarkov. They just do... Oh, an ADR. You gotta be kidding me. Man was, uh, man was packing. ADR is worth a, a solid chunk of change. Nothing in his backpack. Check the pockets. I mean, he'll have ammo in his tack rig, but not much else. Eh. I mean, they're not worth much, but it fills out the inventory, so... You know, obviously gonna throw those. Oh, well, you know what? He led me right to the place I wanted to be. Perfect. I'm trying to do all my narration, like voiceovers in the actual footage, but why didn't I grab that friggin' armor? I completely forgot about that, but looking back on the footage, I could have grabbed that, and I didn't. Ooh, little TBL. No idea what that is, but uh, it looks fun, so we'll take it. So, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know the specific spawn locations, but on these kind of bedroom sets, I think some of the... No, not that one. I think the answer I'm looking for is no. I don't actually believe they spawn on the particular ones I was looking at. I think that's elsewhere. I've never managed to find those. And I think they're predominantly quest items anyway. I think the cat one's worth a fair bit. And I think there's maybe like a lion one or something. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure like what these statues are actually worth in hell where I can even find them. So this quest was admittedly a little futile. Luckily, I was still after those computer rooms that I had mentioned in a previous run. I'd be looking for like SAS drives, RAM, hard drives, any other crap like that, that I could sell for, you know, a couple thousand dollars, if not, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. That was really going to be where the big money was. However, at this point in the run, I really didn't know where that would be exactly, but I was soon going to find it. Also, that mask that I just deposited into my briefcase actually would have paid for all of the stuff that I actually bought for this run that I didn't immediately take off a of scav. So pretty much anything else I took off this run was going to be pure profit because that black mask, black balaclava is more accurate, is worth 27k if you sell it to the rag man. So pretty decent money there. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm kind of back where I started. Uh, I like the look of this general direction. So this is where I will go. This just looks like the bathrooms, to be honest. Any med kits in here for uh, no real good reason? This feels like it should be something, but it definitely isn't. Nothing in here but some urinals, and I can't even pee. Um, I just lack that physical ability. So, we'll, we'll go off this direction. And in the direction I was heading in actually happened to be one of the medical supply stores, which had pretty much a lot of the things that I needed, or, well, at least could have a lot of the things that I needed. Um, I already had that syringe to craft the med station, and obviously I can just buy the extra items to complete the therapist quest by crafting the Salewas off the therapist herself, but, you know, I didn't really want to do that, and any way I could cut costs would be appreciated, 
And this store was hopefully going to do exactly that. Anything that I really want or care about, I guess that, that works. Uh, can I, oh, I can at least check the register, I guess. That's, that's something. All right, and a ah, thousand rubles. I'm not going to complain too much. It could be worse. Okay, so scab boss, scabs, people in general. I haven't haven't seen any of those yet. Got Emercom, power station, scav camp, hole in the fence. Now, the thing is, hole in the fence, not a terrible place to go. Although, honestly, I don't even know how close I am to there. I think I'm pretty close to the middle of the map, which is, like, right over there. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Scav Boss should be around here somewhere, if he actually is here. I'll check this bag. For some reason, I gotta close it. <laughs> we'll search that. I don't think I've got anything else here that's worth a, a considerable amount. Eh, those might be worth something. I don't know. Those are cigarettes, whatever. I don't think that's worth much. Splint is like 2k. Actually, I don't... It buys for 2k from the therapist, but I don't actually think it's even worth that much. Okay, so we're in the shoe store. That's the national. I don't know what the national is. Um, thinking, thinking, using my brain. The brain says, search the registers. Well, I can already say that attempt was futile as you need a key, but in all fairness, at the time, I didn't know that. However, with each store I passed by, my quarry of the medical supply store Mantis got even closer, to the point where I actually found it and remembered what the hell it actually was and the fact that, oh hey, I can grab some essential items here, which was very nice indeed. Alright. Oh, soap. So, I do need soap. This seems stupid. I need it. I need it to make a lavatory. I don't know if that's worth it at all. And I know that IFAC is worth a lot more than the actual soap is. But, you know what? I do not care. I want the soap. And, uh, I, I plan to extract anyway. So. Oh, okay. Coats, right? Gotta get these. Might be some keys and stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. A key I do not recognize. G desk. Okay. I just keep that on my person. Well, I had picked up a couple essential items. I didn't have anything that I thought was going to make me a lot of money. And that's really what I was after. So I had to set out in search of some stuff that was a bit more lucrative. Though there was one med crate left. It had a whole lot of nothing in it, so that wasn't extremely helpful to my cause. That computer room that I was looking for initially was actually right through these double doors. Not directly down a hallway and, you know, around a corner a little bit, but it was right there. There's supposed to be something back here. Is this what it is? Am I dumb? No, I'm not dumb. Okay, I was totally right. See, we're on, we're on top of things here. So I think there's either supposed to be stuff on top of the desks here, on top of the computers, on the floor maybe. I don't, I don't really know what we got here, if anything at all. I might be walking right by stuff and I, I wouldn't know. Could I pick up any of that? No. Oh, oh, I could search the computers. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Caps, caps, uh. I don't think those are worth a heck of a lot. All right, I'm glad I figured that out because otherwise I would have walked through here and, you know, walked away with absolutely nothing. HDD, that, I think even the damage version of that is worth like 20k maybe. Yeah, this is extremely wrong. That thing's actually worth like 5k and it takes up two slots. Um, not good. Pretty friggin' garbage, actually. Hey, looking at the desks, looking at the desks. I'm not seeing much in value in the desks, but, you know. Alright, ooh. Could be good. P cord. I'm gonna drop that, um, because I found just a ton of them over time. And, 
Oh, wait. I definitely just saw a sign for me to be able to pick something. I don't know. At this point, I had done what looting I could, and I was going to have to try to find my way to an extract. That mission would honestly have its own set of perils that actually being inside the store for some reason didn't. I don't know why I was way more coordinated inside the store, but once I left, I kind of lost all my bearings and went a slight bit nuts. So this is kind of that back sloping area, right? So then we got to head across that roundabout that should be kind of over that direction to Emmercom. Okay. Well, I technically wasn't wrong here. I was much farther from Emmercom than I thought I was. You can literally see the power plant when I'm talking about going to Emmercom. And for those of you who know the map, you realize how friggin' wrong that actually is. Oh wait, this is power plant. Oh, I'm very far from where I initially thought I was. Power plant. I know there's an extract in here. I don't know where though. Can I hide myself somewhere and Google where the extract is? Because I'm feeling like that's my best bet at the current moment. All right, let's find some, some nice bushes here. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll hide in here, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I Googled it. It requires 3K rubles. There is a big issue. I do not have that money. Also, I was literally like right here. I think this is it, isn't it? Well, for once, I did actually manage to get my information right here. Oh, I couldn't extract here. Uh, I don't actually think I was in the right place because the extract thing never even popped up. So I'm not sure where the hell I was, but it feels like that should have been the right location. Either way, I definitely wasn't going to be able to extract there and was going to have to try to find another place to extract. I would realistically be able to straight shot it all the way down to railway? Which might be a bit safer. I don't know if I'm heading the right direction or not, though. Another idea, heading down to Railway. Not a bad idea if I had chosen to go, uh, maybe south instead of east. But, you know what? Who am I to judge? But yeah, no, I was going literally the opposite direction of Railway. I was very far away at this point. Now I just have to evade literally everybody and somehow make it all the way down to Railway, which I believe is an extract that I have. Except I don't. Why do I keep going to places that I can't extract? Why did I not check that beforehand? Well, let's haul ass this way then, I guess, because I think that's the next best option. Unless, wait, is this the right... No, I think I'm going to Emmercom this way. I don't know. We have no idea where we're going. We're just going to run this way and figure it out. Well, you know what? I already confirmed this, but this is the way to Emmercom. If I had actually decided to go the other way, thinking that I was going to Railway, I would have ended up at Railway, and we would have had an actual disaster on our hands, rather than me just being mildly confused, but being pretty confident that I actually was right in being wrong originally. Not a sentence that makes a whole lot of sense, but you hopefully get the point. So, I think hole in the wall, if I'm not mistaken, is right there. But I'm not dropping my backpack to extract there. That's a hard no for me. Although, actually, you know what? Hang on. No backpack extract. What realistically out of here do I need? I don't need that. I don't need that. Definitely want this. I want this. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. we'll take the key, ram, wires, all this extra stuff. I don't know how much this is worth. I'll take this and the ram, and I'll just drop the backpack, because honestly, that stuff's not worth a heck of a lot. Well, that was an incorrect statement. The stuff in the backpack was pretty good, and the stuff I actually had on me 
wasn't nearly as good. At least I managed to take the key, so, you know, not too bad. And then I had that black balaclava from earlier that was going to net me, you know, enough profit to make this run worth it. And I extracted in the first place, so not a big deal. So as soon as this decides to not lag anymore, we will be able to figure out exactly how much in profit we made. So we're going to take out all the things we plan to sell. I'll keep most of this stuff. I'll sell the ADR because I really don't use it and uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. So we'll put the syringe and the soap over here. So this was our haul. Actually, surprisingly, not a heck of a lot. We'll start off with Ragman. We'll sell him the smoke balaclava, which was, I was actually a little bit off. It's worth more than I initially believed. Okay, I think we can get more for these items from the therapist. Damn. That is worth significantly less than I thought it was. Yikes. I mean, all in all, I still extracted, so it's not it's not terrible. That's not worth a hell of a lot. I think I might have been better off taking the wires and stuff. Yikes. I think I did mess up with that one a little bit, but you know what? The ADR makes up for it. I think we can only sell this to the fence anyway. So yeah, I, I looked it up. The caps on the flea market sell for about 8,000 and I'd imagine they sell to what the mechanic for maybe a similar amount. I really screwed up with that one because if the caps are worth 8,000 a piece and I sold, you know, two caps to the mechanic instead of, you know, the one friggin' hard drive that I had that was worth like 5,000, I could have gotten maybe like 16, 15,000, but instead, you know, I got hot garbage. I screwed myself a little bit, but all in all, still a pretty profitable run for me. But Tori, we will construct that. Um, Oh, oh, it was kind of like a crafting station thing. Okay. All right. This isn't terrible. So, it, oh, we can craft things over here. So we make like bandages and crap. And this is a 20 minute video already. I'm not trying to drag this on for longer than absolutely necessary. We finished the therapist quest. We got the med station and we got the lavatory. We got like 50k in profit not terrible but honestly when i say this was a good run i mean i didn't choose to extract with the good stuff but i probably could have made i don't know 20 30 000 more if i had actually taken the things that would have made me more money but you know what you live and you learn i didn't know at the time and i know now so you know like it subscribe we're improving every day and uh i like tarkov so i'm probably going to be posting this a little bit more often so yeah that's all i got for today hazmat out